Hey guys, this is Glamazon Tay, and I know last week I came with my video. I think I want to start calling them like Octavia Talks, but I'm not for sure. So if you guys got any suggestions, comment below so we can, you know, interact. But um, I came last week with basically telling you how my high school experience was with bullying and all that stuff. So basically this week I wanted to come to with a little bit more intimate video far as talking about my coming out story. Now my coming out story is not like one of those precious gem stories or one of those over the top crazy stories. It's just like some things happen and then some things weren't that big of a deal. So I guess if you guys are interested in hearing my coming out story, stay tuned. Okay, so first things first, Um, the time that I really realized, well I'm not gonna say the time I realized I was gay, but I can remember far back as into elementary school. It was such a big problem with me because I didn't realize that was being gay back then. But I guess now when I think about it, I guess that was. So I remember in elementary school, I would always look at girls and look at their butts. How weird that is? Yeah, real weird. So I would always stare at girls' butts. And then after that, it kind of like went away. The whole thing, I was getting older. And I was just like, why do I always stare at girls' butts? But after that, I got older. After I got older, basically it came down to when I was like in, um, I don't know. I don't think I had no more attractions to females through middle school or through high school. Not until when I got to maybe um, 10th or 11th grade. Um, a lot of things changed for me in 10th and 11th grade. Well, for one, in 11th grade, I met this um, girl and me and her started hanging out quite a bit she was like my best friend we just hung out all the time and then one time when I went over her house we were supposed to be going to a party that night because I could drive finally I got my first car so I went to go pick her up and she um let her her brother get in the car with us so come to find out we're sitting here and I'm talking to her brother and everything and I was calling him Gerald and everything but come to find out like after riding around with her and him for about an hour and a half I never even used the word him or his or nothing like that I just I don't even know what I was calling him but anyway come to find out it wasn't even a girl a boy it was a girl and me and her was like <laughs> and we laugh about it now because when I think about it it's just crazy because how did I think she was a boy for all that time we had been in the car for like two hours I think that her sister actually heard me say him He's something. And she was like, well, who are you talking about? I was like, him. She was like, that's not no boy. That's my sister. And I was like, and she was sitting there letting me call her a boy. So I thought she was a boy. But she really wasn't. And um, after that, I don't even know. We just all started hanging together, all three of us. And then after a while, me and the girl that really was the, well, me and the girl that I thought was the boy, we became friends and we just started um, talking on the phone all the time, but we were just best friends and it wasn't really any relationship type of thing there. And um, I know I remember one day I used to go pick her up because we used to always go places together, me and the girl that I thought was a boy. Um, we used to always go places together and everything and then she introduced me to one of her friends and me and that girl started dating and we dated for like a little bit but not for that long anyway to come to find out she was a dog like she was talking to another girl too so but so like it was kind of mixed up that was my first kiss with a girl was her friend so I hope I'm not confusing you guys but yeah so that was my first kiss with her friend and um I don't know that was a new experience for me it didn't feel awkward and it didn't feel like you know like some big thing it just felt like oh I just kissed her but I did tell my friends and everybody was like oh my god what happened what did when did because I didn't tell anyone it was almost one of them things where like the only people that know I knew I was interested into girls was the girl that I thought was a boy and her friend and her sister so like nobody really knew but except for those little bit of people and actually they were kind of loyal because they never told anybody either so then after all that happened um after a while i just started dating girls on the regular from different places and i started going to gay clubs with my best friend because he was gay already and it was just it was a nice experience but then that's when everybody started getting in my freaking business and then started telling everybody I was so gay and I'm just like what's the big freaking deal and everybody was like oh my god I can't believe she's gay because for one thing it wasn't like I live in a really really small town so it wasn't that many people that was gay from where I was from especially back then and then it was like 
the only people in school I knew that was gay was one girl. And everybody kind of like disowned her, like exile, because she was gay. But I mean, it was weird. I didn't really care. But um, yeah, so after that happened, everybody started talking about me being gay. And it wasn't, I didn't really care. I just wanted people to really stop talking about me. But I didn't really care that they were actually saying I was gay. And then, um, yeah, that was pretty much it with that about my friends far so. My next phase in my life about me being gay was basically my parents. So um, my mom, it was like a, quite a bit of people telling her I was gay. She was asking me was I gay. I was telling her no. And then I was bringing gay girls to the house and everything. I say gay girls, but I don't really mean it like that. I'm just kind of throwing it out there. So um, I didn't really mean it. She didn't really care. She was letting me have them over. Um, just she didn't. It wasn't a big deal to her at all. And she was listening to me and it about me telling her I wasn't and then I'm bringing people over but I'm pretty sure you know your mother knows everything so regardless what I was telling her it wasn't like she was like are you gay it wasn't like that it was like I'm bringing some I'm bringing so so over and then she'd be like oh are y'all dating and I'd be like no so um after that had happened I did have an altercation with my dad but the thing crazy part about it is me and my dad we don't talk at all anyway and um we really don't have a relationship we never really have had a relationship and it was people telling my father so i'm like why are they telling my dad if we don't even talk and let me remind you me and my dad don't have a relationship at all anyway and then my dad like calls me up so when my dad calls me up he was like really confrontational he was like i just want to ask he, like first he started talking to me and he just wanted to supposedly have a conversation with me and we were having a regular conversation and then after we had the conversation it was crazy because he kind of like just threw out there are you gay and i was like no and then that's when i guess he knew i was lying and i wasn't happy with, i wasn't being true to myself of course with me telling everybody that so I said no, and then basically he call, he just called me on my bluff, and we just started talking about that I was gonna go to hell and um, that it was wrong and all this other stuff. Like it was just it was just a lot. And we got off the phone and we we really after we got off the phone we didn't really talk after that because we already didn't have a relationship anyway. So when I got off the phone with him, I called my mom and I told my mom the whole story about me telling him, and she was just furious. And I told her, and and then she was just mad about how he came about it and just the whole situation because me and him really don't talk anyway. And um, I remember that day, my mom texted me after, like a little bit later on because I was at school. And um, my mom texted me and she was like, I still got the text in my phone. It's an old phone, but I don't have my phone with me. Otherwise, I would read it to you guys. But I remember my mom texted me and she was like, it doesn't matter what you are or who you are because you're my daughter. And it was like, with you being my child, no one can ever say anything or ever do anything to make you feel any type of way because you know who you are. And when she said that, it automatically clicked to me that my mom knows that I'm gay and she just doesn't care. And that was such a big deal to me. Like, you guys don't even understand like it that meant the world to me just the way my mom came about it especially when my family is really conservative my family's really like you know they're not really out there and it's just like I was the first the first I'm not gonna say I was the first but first kind of out with it being gay far as in my immediate family and far as my family as a whole I don't know anyone else is really like me and um I don't know, that was enough for me, for to have my mom, for to have my mom accept me and accept what I was going through, that was enough for me. And it just felt like, wow. Like, I couldn't believe that how supportive my mom is, because I'm telling you, man, I thought my mom was going to go ballistic. And, um, she was pretty okay with the idea of it. Like, she didn't really care. She never said anything negative. She kind of tried to accept try to accept me for who I was and that's why I say I'm so blessed because a lot of people don't have that. when people ask me about coming out and being gay I always personally say I wouldn't be out with it to them until you're for sure this is exactly what you are until you're for sure that this is what you this is your lifestyle and this is what's coming of it and I would not I definitely wouldn't say anything until you're out there household 
that's just how I felt. I mean, because I feel like if you're out there household, it's nothing they really can say. If they don't support you or don't help you, it's nothing. It's not that real big of a deal because you're already out on your own. A lot of people say that they feel as though some people should be open with themselves and be true to yourself. And yeah, that's correct. But you don't want to bring more stress on your life as far as your parents not accepting. I don't know. It just wouldn't be so stressful on your lifestyle. And even now, like, my mom, my mom and my grandma and my brothers and my grandpa and uncles and aunts, everybody is so cool with Brittany. They love Brittany. My mom and Brittany talk on a regular. Me and Brittany's mom talks on the phone almost every single day. Like, we're so close. And it's just like... I don't know where I would be without my family. I thank my family so much. And I'm so blessed to have my family. Like, they're very supportive. Like, anything that's going on, they always say you can invite Brittany. Or it's just never been a problem. And I just say, with my dad, even now, me and my father don't really talk. So, that's, I mean, it's okay with me that he doesn't accept it. I'm not, well, actually, I don't even know if he accepts it. Because I don't talk to him. But my dad does have a twin brother. And I look at him as my father. I look at him as a dad figure for me because he, he's always been there for me. So, I mean, it's kind of weird because that is his twin. They do look exactly alike. And he's not my dad, but he is my dad. Like, and when I have a problem with him, I just go talk to him about it. If I have a problem with anything or something is bothering me or if I need anything, I definitely can come to him. And he's always been to my rescue for that. But it's just like... People with their coming out story, like, it's so many different stories. And that's why I said mine isn't, like, some big fairy tale story. And it just come out and just, it's all this stuff that happened with it. It wasn't like that. And even with now, a lot of my outer family still don't know that I'm gay. Just because it's not one of them things where I'm like, hi, how you doing? I'm Octavia, I'm gay. It's not nothing like that. It's just one of those things where most of the time, if it's a family reunion, I would bring Brittany and I would introduce her and that's how it would go. Um, but far as right now, everybody that needs to know knows as far as my close family and my grandparents and all that kind of stuff. And no, I did not just straight tell them. Like, it was kind of like one of them things that it warmed up to them and they found out. I can't say that nobody really had a, re a negative reaction in my family except for my father. But like I said, we don't talk anyway, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Yeah, it's a really hard job. I'm not going to say, I know that everybody's like... People are not born gay, but what I want to say is, if I had to choose, like, who would want to choose to have a harder life than they already have? Like, it's already hard being the person you are or finding out who you are within. But who wants to put that extra struggle on themselves to say, hey, I'm gay too, and then that's just be another reason why somebody did not accept you. Like, I don't feel like nobody would ever want to go out of their way to be like that or just want to be gay because they feel like it's a cool thing to do because it's such a hard job to keep up with and it's just very and then on top of that like me and Brittany been talking for at least maybe five years yeah we started back in 2010 and it's 2015 and we've been talking for five years like that's a long time to be in a committed gay lesbian relationship that's a lot of time to be in a committed relationship regardless and I'm just thankful for Brittany. I'm thankful how supportive she was. She's never pushed it on me to talk. People talk about you regardless. And that was just another thing for people to talk about me with. In a real hard situation as far as me being able to accept myself. Me being able to not care if other people accepted me as well. And it was just, uh, I don't know, it was, it was really complicated for me to get over that hump. But I can say after I found out my mom accepted me, everything else falled into place. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my story. I said it wasn't that much. It was just like a story I just wanted to share with you guys so you can get a little bit more involved into my lifestyle. Um, and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. If you have any questions about my coming out story, you can definitely comment below. I will be able to, I will be sure to answer everyone's questions because I definitely do every single time I... Get a rack of questions, I always answer them. Only thing is, I try, sometimes people's comments be disabled and I can't comment back. But that's the only reason I won't comment back to you guys. And um, that's it. I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya.